Well, hello all. We've now reached day 16 of our 21-day financial fast. So we have six days to go. Uh, the scripture for today is 1 Corinthians 7 and 2. But since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. And she uses that um, for the title financial fornication. Uh, pretty interesting title, but really what it's speaking to is uh, six days to go, don't play banker to your baby. And it talks about how um, we're not to commingle our money with people that we're not married to. A lot of times uh, when we're single, we might, you know, have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and we might have the same cell phone bill, or we might even go as far as to move in together and different things like that. And what she's cons um, focusing on in this part of the book is to be mindful of those things. And the main point is we want to avoid commingling of funds with people that you are not married to. And that's why she calls it financial fornication. And the pledge is, I will make a list of the financial traits I want in a mate. Sometimes we have people that we care about that are boyfriends or girlfriends. And what we tend to do is we tend to help them out to show them that we love, love them. But the Bible says we will know them by the fruit that they bear. And sometimes a good way to indicate whether or not this will be a good mate is how that mate handles a financial crisis because if they handle it in such a way where they need you then they might that might show you that that's their pattern I also want to read something that um, that she says it says I'll say it once more the fast isn't just about cutting your spending or getting rid of your credit card habit the fast is about examining the decisions you are making concerning your money and so I think, I hope that those of us who are doing the fast or maybe have reconnected with the fast, I hope what you're doing is starting to realize the decisions that you make. I know I can testify that I've learned so much and will continue to learn about the decisions that I make concerning money. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I didn't do a day 15 yesterday and I blame that solely on the Super Bowl. I was so into the Super Bowl last night, totally slipped my mind to do this. Uh, but I will say when I went over to the church, I was supposed to bring something. And what I did was I brought some popcorn. So I popped about two bags of popcorn and and um, and I left that out for people. So I thought that worked out really, really well. I didn't have to spend money. Uh, today, um, I brought my lunch to um, work. Uh, I had a ham and cheese sandwich and some goldfish that we bought from Costco. And um, I bought like a two liter drink of Arizona green tea. Um, that I'm going to drink off of probably for the next week or two. So that's kind of some of the things we're doing to try to save money and kind of honor the 21 day fast. Uh, we're still coming down to the home stretch. We got six more days to go. I uh, hope all of you are continuing to fight through it. Um, and um, we're almost done. And we will um, we will look forward to all that God has for us. And, and we've already started talking about once the 21 day fast is over. Uh, what are what are some things that are going to change? And I can say at this point, um, I really don't have that hunger for like McDonald's or anything like that. Now, I'm still going to go. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to go. Um, but I'm not going to be so quick to go every day like I used to go. So uh, those are some things that I'm already sensing that will change as a result of the 21-day fast. So uh, keep pressing. Uh, keep being out there doing it. And um, we will... Uh, keep working through this thing and um, and hopefully learn as much as God would have us to learn. Thank you and God bless.